Captain America, Steve Rogers, woke up hearing about a game with, I think, the Dodgers. Fast forward in time, you're probably still in your prime, maybe not in your mind, but you shine. Man, your life has like three stages, and Marvel has, at this point, four phases. You don't get to be... And these next ones past three, is that where the end of your story happened? Phase three? I don't know. But boy, Cap, you put on a show. Between you and Winter Soldier and Peggy and maybe just you three. But really, you know, every character adds to the show adds to the growing mo mints everyone plays into the picture so it just gets sicker either in a good way or in a way that weighs on your shoulders but cap you're moving boulders you were a sickly child a sickly kid but erskine liked how you were lit inside. You weren't just about killing Nazis in pride. You were a swell guy. And when he died, he pointed to your chest, wanted you to be your best. And if he got to see what you did from Avengers Infinity to Endgame, I think he'd be proud of you all the same. You held Thor's hammer. That itself says something. Iron Man also had a part to play. He's now got heart, not just cunning. And there's proof that Tony Stark has a heart. Just ask Peppy Potts. And Bucky Barnes... The soldier with charm. Man, did your mind find harm. I watched Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And you're giving yourself the cold shoulder. You make the snow go over your own self. But then again, you've been through uh, more than everyone else maybe not everyone but a ton actually maybe not definitely but pretty much everyone who has a story as horrid as yours it's crazy when you two were kids you and cap did you know what was in store and cap peggy would have i think done you proud she did me proud i finally watched her show, Agent Carter. And man, she glows in her actions. When I thought about quitting a job, if there's something that would have made me stay and try to find a way, it would have been between her and this other movie about a teacher that uh yeah, it's kind of goofy but he ends up being a wrestler here comes the boom it came it came eventually could have come a little more soon but it came <laughs> the name here comes the boom and agent carter are what 
would have given me the push to get off my tush and just make things happen even in difficult situations. That's what your girl did, Cap. And even though when you came back and she was no longer her old self, at least you got to see her as her old self. And at least you got to kiss her as her young self. And at least you went back in time thanks to Ant-Man on his grind. Or rather, Hank on his grind. The results of Hank's grind, I guess. Let me not get too far ahead or too far behind or out of line. Hank probably deserves the credit. But Ant-Man brought it, and he helped with the end of it, this Thanos calamity. But anyway, you got to go back in time and make Peggy happy. I think you got your dance in. But I want to be like the captain. I want to be pure of heart. I want to jump on the grenade. I want to have a consistent heart and not just be a phase. I want to be brave. I want to be great until I'm in the grave and even then my legend or my memory to those who knew just let it be beautiful and true and let people have the correct perspective of me please not just the good but also the ugly but Cap is there even a part of you that's ugly even in your other movies when people turn against you you stay with what's true that's something I'm kind of one to do but not in a way that People still appreciate. But then again, my friend, I guess people did turn on you. It's just after you went through what you went through in your second movie or your third or both. How many movies are people against you, even with all your worth? In the end, or at certain times on your journey. And generally, people appreciate you. But there are times where they debate you, the idea of you. Even in this first movie, not even up to two or three. You can see some anarchy from what was supposed to be fellow soldiers, but you proved them wrong. And now you're more, just, more than just a character in tights as part of a song. So, man, I want to be like Cap. Not to be fast running laps, even though that would be cool too. But I want to be a cool dude, like good heart. Like people don't know, but I got some black in my soul or maybe... Not That's not even what it needs to be, but this society doesn't allow me to express myself and analyze myself properly. It's like you have to hide parts of yourself, and when you don't bring them to the surface and off the shelf and work with them, they turn kind of dusty and musty. And so America turns you from vibranium steel to rusty. But I don't want to be like America. I want to be like Captain America. I don't understand LGBTQ. I don't understand all these views. I just understand heart. I understand heart. And heart can come from anywhere. But from Christians and their religion and society with their expectations and their social justice and all this stuff that's just not how I go about things. I don't know how to rise above that like Wakanda's king. Yo, even Black Panther respects you, dude. But shoot. You gave your shield to Falcon, 
And now there's going to be a Captain America 4. I'm a black dude. Maybe I can be Captain America more. God help me have a sure heart. And Peggy, girl, I didn't watch your shows for a while, but I love the way you just, you just jump into the pig pile, go wild, make him look senile with your style. I, just, I love your heart and I love how you get things done. And Winter Soldier, man, a dark story became out of what had been, out of what was begun. But at least you got to be in your right mind again. And at least you kind of get to call Wakandans friends. And at least you made it through the darkest of seats fought with your demons and beasts and man you in a way are the most and not the least what must have weighed on your mind when it came to the time that clarity you would find a list I don't think there's anyone at this point after Falcon and the Winter Soldier that's been missed. Yo, even Zemo took over <laughs> with his name and crossed it out, put the line over. So, go forth. Sorry for what you went through, but you're a good sport when life handed you the worst, it's hard to build a fort, it's hard to be strong, but if you didn't realize, you gained superpowers along the way. So now, showtime. Actually, you've had some shine, but you're on. If anyone doubted you, even though there may be haunted memories that you've put them through. Show them, no, show yourself that they're wrong. You too.